Okay, uh, gonna, just really briefly on this, just you guys that still run a two-back offense, all right? So uh, belly, belly and uh, fullback belly, all right? So a real American football player, you got to find that to carry this, all right? This is called a fullback, all right? It'll, ours is a Mike linebacker, so it's not like we have a bunch of them. He's our starting Mike. All right, we use tight zone blocking. We want vertical double teams. All right, when determining what combo matters more, if you have to pick one, it's the backside. You might have to make that decision versus bare fronts. All right, which combo matters more? It's the backside one that we want to emphasize more. All right, and then flip off of it. All right, so when we run the flip off of this, we're using those same freeze option principles we talked about on that first play. We're using those on this play, okay? So just... Uh, I'm showing this just because I like it. So we don't run it a lot, and it's re- really efficient for us in short yardage goal line. So here we, we shift to uh, fullback in the backfield, right? Again, we're working tight zone blocking. We are reverse out with our quarterback. You can see we're just working to the inside leg of the guard, all right? Really emphasizing backside combinations. All right here, the wheel linebacker actually watches, uh, walks up on the edge, so the backside locks this. But we see a vertical combination between the center and the guard. All right, and we score there, okay? Talking about bear. So what usually comes up is you're trying to decide, like, hey, are we combo on the backside? Are we combo on the front side three technique on this play, all right? You, we will almost always combo the backside three technique on this play. And then if we formation it correctly or design it correctly, if we have to versus bear, we'll try to get a front side double team if we can as well. So you can see here versus bear, all right? Two vertical double teams by both uh, both guard and tackles. All right, we're telling our center, hey, we just want to win head play side. This is a great job by the center. He pops his feet. All right, I teach a, I, te- I let the guys, the kind of the centers, based on their strength, determine what kind of technique they want to use here. All right, he likes to pop his feet, so I let him pop his feet. So he pops his feet, wins hand leverage. All right, and wins the rep, wins head leverage. All right, and here's our here's our starting Mike linebacker getting a big. Short yardage play in the championship game. Um, and then the flip, okay? So I'll just real brief, but you see the tackle here. All right, he's trying to arc around this. So we're faking, we're faking the belly. All right, we'll have a single arcer here getting around it. We can always leave one, you know? However you design this formationally, we always want to leave one. So you can see here, our tight end's doing a great job. All right, uh, we're going to leave one. The tackle's on the same page. He's going to try and jump, hop this guy. He knew he was going underneath. He's able to get on the second level. It's a nice job. All right, another critical short yardage play. All right, another great job by the tight end. All right, faking number 90, making 90 feel like he's getting cut off, arcing him, getting on the edge. All right, getting a critical, I think that was fourth down, fourth and one in a, in a tough, tough ball game, a tough place to play. So 